Later, a Scottish soldier appeared with a football, which seemed to come from nowhere. And a few minutes later, a real football match got underway. The Scots marked their goal mouth with their strange hats, and we did the same with ours. It was far from easy to play on the frozen ground, but we continued keeping rigorously to the rules. Us Germans really roared when a gust of wind revealed that the Scots wore no drawers under their kilts. <laughs> we hooted and whistled every time we caught an impudent glimpse of one posterior belonging to one of yesterday's enemies. But after an hour's play, when our commanding officer heard about it, he sent an order that we must put a stop to it. A little later, we drifted back to our trenches and the fraternization ended. The game finished with a score of 3-2 to two in favor of Fritz against Tommy, Oberstleutnant Johannes Niemann of the 133rd Royal Saxon Regiment. <laughs>